Hey everyone, it's Britt here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about how I print my photos in my Traveler's Notebook documenting style journaling. And you may have seen this guy which I have been journaling in lately and I've been getting a few questions about how I print my little photos like these. So I have my this camera. is the selfie CP910 it is a Wi-Fi enabled I like this because even though it's semi bulky it still can fit on my desk and not feel like it's taking up too much space one thing is that I always keep this guy plugged in because every time you plug it in and turn it on it like goes through a cycle of film. It's kind of weird. I don't know why it does that. And maybe that's just um, the version I have. They have a lot of other options, uh, more update options. I think I got this probably a year and a half ago. I'm not going to go into much detail about the machine itself. However, um, I will just briefly talk about it and talk about the app I use on my phone. Um, to be able to print out the photos I want. So this guy I usually keep on the side of my desk and I always keep him plugged in like I had mentioned. It does have an SD slot, um, it's Wi-Fi enabled, and then you have all your options right on the front. Um, as I said before, I only use this to print photos for like journaling and things so I actually don't know all the features that this machine can do. I use it pretty much for the basic. Yeah, so you just set it up on your phone um, as a printer and it will have the directions to be able to do that. So now we're going to jump into the app I use to be able to print. Okay, so I am using an iPhone. I am not 100% sure if this app is on Android but if it is you'll just follow the same directions as I'm giving you. So you want to get into the app. It's called Project Life and I like this app because it's very simple. The only thing I really use is here. So I click on that button and pretty much they pop up with like a default option. This is just showing you you can put in two photos, one on the left and one on the right, and it's already set up to print a 4x6, which is what the selfie will print. Now, let's say I don't want, I want more pictures on one page. I will click at the top left, which I've, you can see, click up there, you'll see options at the bottom pop up. So there's so many options. Let's say you have like a 12 by 12 printer, then you can use a 12 by 12. But since mine's printing by with a 4 by 6, that's the option I'm going to look at. So all the squares indicate how many photos you can put on one page. So when I get those small photos, I'm actually using these squares. So I recently went to visit family and I have a ton of pictures I want to use, but I'm not really sure how exactly I want to use them. I think I'm going to use them like this. So I've chosen the three picture option and you click on the square that you want to insert your picture. You click at the top here on the left and then you get all your pictures. So I am going to select these pictures now the 
another thing is that you can move your pictures around and after you're done inserting your photos you kind of click off and then you have the option to adjust the image so you can adjust the brightness the contrast the saturation and the image um, rotation I think I'm okay with what I have because with me working in my toddler's notebook, all my photos are going to be in black and white. Hit this button here, which will upload, and I have options as to what I want to do with this photo. And I'm going to go to export, and then it's going to give the next set of options that I want to do. And for me, for my selfie printer, I just go to print. Now before I do that, I actually have to set up the printer which um, this printer the selfie actually has its own Wi-Fi and then you set up the Wi-Fi to your phone and then it connects and then it will print so let me do that real quick off screen okay so I set up the Wi-Fi connection with my selfie printer and the next thing I'm gonna do is not yet print I have to go to the printer option select my printer it's the Canon CP910 and then since I am into the black and white I'm gonna to go to options select black and white and then I have it selected it changed color and then I'm ready to print so I'm gonna hit print and then I'll show you what's happening on my selfie This is the print that I got and again this is a 4x6 and it comes with the edges perforated so you, all you have to do is just take those off if you like and then you can see how much of the image I actually was able to capture without it um, being in the perforated area. There I go. Pretty good, don't you think? And then all I do is just cut it out. And if I don't want to cut it out, I'll just keep it like this and post it or frame it or journal with it. And that's pretty much how I print my pictures. Just a side note, this is an old selfie. Um, it is squeaky because I probably need to oil something in there, which I haven't done yet. Um, it hasn't failed me. If you, I think the best thing to do is to go on Amazon because I know right now if you do want to get this older version, it is on sale. And then also the best thing is to get their three pack of photo paper sets that goes with this. You save more money that way when you buy more. And then just make sure wherever you have it, you have enough space in the back because as you saw earlier that the picture actually goes back and forth and it goes through about three or four times to get the, the right color on the photo. I hope this was helpful for those of you who were wondering. Let me know if you have any more questions. And as always, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye!